Hey guys, welcome to Civil Learning Online. And guys, few days ago I have posted a poll in which I had asked which topics next, and the options were influence line diagram, surveying, engineering mathematics, as well as the cable and suspension bridge. And here is the result of the poll. So guys, from the poll it is clear that most of the viewers are demanding for the influence line diagram. So I am making this video for the influence line diagram and uh, without any further delay let's get it started so guys uh, this video is going to be introduction for the infl uh, to the in influence line diagram and here in this video i am going to discuss about the meaning of influence line diagram and the various topics which i will be including in this uh, series let us first go through the definition of influence line diagram and the definition of influence line diagram is it is a curve or a graph that represents a function like a reaction at a support the shear force at the section the bending moment at the section of structure etc for various position of the unit load on the span of the structure and guys uh, from the exam point of view also the definition of influence line diagram is very important so mind it and uh, the let us first deal with the definition and it says that it is a graph or a curve means the influence line diagram is a graph or a curve like the reaction at uh, of that represent a function like reaction at a support means in influence line diagram basically we uh, draw the graph or curve for finding the reaction at the support first thing second is shear force at the section means we will be given a span of the beam and we will we will be asked to find the shear force at the given section means uh, from at 10 meter or 5 meter or 20 meter from left or right support it is up to the examiner or question setter and the third is bending moment at the section of the structure means we are will be asked to find the bending moment also using the influence line diagram for the various position of the unit load in influence line diagram we basically discuss about different position of the unit load and with respect to the position of the unit load we calculate the reactions uh, shear force and the bending moment in the structure and the, the topics which i will be including in this series are as follow so let me first note down here and then i will uh, show you what are the topics here so guys here are the topics which i will be including in the influence line diagram series and the first one is influence line diagram for the reaction at the supports uh, for the point load and udl i will be so adding the example on both for the point load and udl both cases and there are uh, there are two conditions on which the question can be framed first one is we may be asked to determine the value of the quantity means we may be uh, provided with the system of load for the given span of the beam and we will just need to we will be asked just to determine the value of the quantity just value of the quantity and second one is to determine the position of the live load to have the maximum value means first in first case we may be just we may just be asked to calculate the reaction at the support for the given load and the second is we need to find the position at which those loads should be placed means the point load or the udl should be placed to so that the, our reaction will be maximum and uh, we in each and every cases we will just first discuss about the concept uh, for finding the reaction at the support and then we will go through some examples in each and every case and the second one is influence line diagram for the shear force at the given section of the girder in this case what we will be provided we will be given a span of the beam and we may be asked to calculate the shear force at uh, 5 meter or 10 meter it is up to the examiner or question setter to find the shear force at given span from left end or right end in first case and the, it may and there is one another type of question also framed in the shear uh, in for the influence line diagram for the shear force that is we may be asked to find the cal we may be asked to calculate the maximum positive shear force and maximum negative shear force this is dif this case is different from the previous one in the previous one we may just be asked to calculate the shear force just only shear force for the given point load and udl but here the, another type of question can be framed in which we will be asked to calculate the maximum positive shear force and negative shear force maximum negative shear force and the third case is influence line diagram for the bending moment at the given section so it also have the two cases we may be provided with just a simply supported beam and we may be asked to calculate the maximum bending moment at a given section for point load as well as udl this also this case also prevail for both point load and udl 
and has for is established for simply supported beam as well as for simply supported beam with overhang we will discuss about each and every type with a proper example and then after third we will go through the concept of the muller breslow principle and we will discuss about this concept as well as we will go through some example based upon the muller breslow principle and then we will come toward the maximum end reactions means we will uh, there are uh, it, actually this question consists of the point load with system of loads means there are four to five loads uh, system and we need to move that load on the given span of the beam and we will need to calculate the maximum end shears. This case, this these questions are probably asked in the law as a long question from the influence line diagram and the second one is absolute maximum shear force and bending moment. This question this top this topic from the influence line diagram also carries the long question uh, is also given as a long question and carries the highest mark and the third one is the influence line diagram for the trusses and uh, for the influence line diagram of the, tr of the trusses if you uh, study this topic very carefully here in influence line diagram topic then you will not face any kind of difficulty uh, when we study about the design of the plate girder in steel structure influence line diagram for the trusses means we will be asked to calculate the maximum or real forces in the upper code member bottom code member diagonal member as well as there is there are uh, we will discuss about different types of trusses uh and and uh, there is one more type of trusses where uh, where and where and truss or girder in which the vertical member are missing and uh, we will discuss about that also that how to calculate the uh how to calculate solve the numerical based upon such trusses guys do like and share this video with your friend and let your friend know about the, the this topic which we are going to start on this channel civil learning online and uh, i am quite sure that you are going to enjoy the lectures uh, on the influence line diagram and i will try my best to make you clear about each and every top each and every uh, topics uh, in influence line diagram which i, I have mentioned here and uh, you will be able to solve any type of question based upon this topic and uh, till then stay safe and take care of yourself